Hello and welcome to another video in the eToro tutorial series. This is a video on shorting, selling and closing a position. So there's a big difference between what is considered selling and what is considered closing a position. So you don't actually sell a position, you close it. Now, the reason that I'm saying this is because I see a lot of people that, for example, they've got their portfolio and their position here, they're like, right, I want to close this, so I need to sell it. And that is not what you're doing. Because if you click on this sell, what that does is this opens a new position. Okay, so this is selling or shorting a position. So a new sell position. If you want to close this position, if you're on a mobile device, you can swipe across and then it will give you the option to close it. On here, we can click on the position. You've got your option here and you click on the red button here. Now, this particular bit is quite important because when you do it from this screen, you when you when uh, if you're on a mobile device, if you go through to this screen and then you click on the X, what you then have is the option to completely close the whole trade or if you just want some of your funds back you can close only part of the trade so for example say obviously I've got three hundred dollars invested here I've already lost 96 of those dollars so I'm down to about two hundred dollars left okay so if I want to take a hundred dollars out of this transaction I can simply click here uh, click close amount and I'll say $100 because then I can use that $100 for a different position and if I click close trade what will happen is $100 will come out of here this will drop by more than $100 so this bearing in mind the existing loss will probably drop by about $150 okay that would drop to $150 ish dollars that will probably drop to about $48 somewhere around there um, and that's how that works. So let me just show you as the complete example. So that's closed off. So then if I click close again, and you'll see that so $150 as the amount invested, $49 there in the loss, and just over $100 left in the trade. Okay, so that's closing a trade and closing part of the trade. If you wanted to open a short position, that's another position that is expecting the price to go down, you would simply click on the sell. Okay, and then on the top here you've got buy and sell. So you would click make sure that this section is sell. Okay, and then you would put in the amount that you want to invest. So say for example, I'm going to put in $100. Now with a short position, they always cap you out at 50% loss. And that's the same with if you use leverage as well. Um, not that you can use leverage with this particular transaction, but for other options as well. Now, so remember with shorting, if the price goes up, that's when you lose money. If the price goes down, that's when you gain money. So this is to sell a share that you don't actually own. So effectively what you do is you borrow a share from someone, you sell it into the market, and then you buy it back at a later stage and give it back to the person that you've borrowed it from. So that's how shorting works. Um, and so here, obviously we've got $100 worth of the shares that you're gonna borrow and sell direct into the market. Now eToro has this system where if you lose 50% of your money, it will automatically close your position. Okay. Now I've done another video on editing stop losses um, and that's an important part of this part here. So by all means, check that video out if you want more information on stop losses, trailing stop losses and increasing your stop loss past the 50%. Okay. So opening a short position or a sell position, this is how you do it. Okay. And then you just click the open the trade. I'm not going to do that on this particular one here. So other ways of doing it are obviously from exactly the same screen. You find the stock that you want and you either hit trade there, which takes you to exactly the same screen. Or you can go to the actual company itself, their page, and then you click on the trade button there, which again takes you to the same screen. 
So there's lots of different ways around the platform. Like even on your watch list, look, you see something you want to short, and you just hit the sell button there, and you do it there. Okay, so really, really important that you always remember that sell does not mean close. It means to open a new sell position or a short position. Well, I hope you found that interesting and I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.